Programming fosters creativity, reasoning, and problem solving. The programmer gets the opportunity to create something from nothing. Use logic to turn programming constructs into a form that a computer can run. A computer program is a set of instructions that causes a computer to perform some kind of action. It is in the physical part of the computer like the wires, microchips, parts or hard drive, and such, but the hidden stuff running on the hardware. A computer program, which I will usually refer to just a program, is a set of commands that tell the dumb hardware what to do. Software is a collection of computer programs. Computer programs in one form or another control not only your personal computer but also video games, system, cell phones and GPS units in the cards. Software also controls less obvious items like the LCD TVs and the remote controllers as well as some of the newest radios, DVD players, ovens and some fridges. Even car engines, traffic lights, street lamps, train signals, electronic billboards, and the elevators are controlled by programs. Programs like thoughts. If you didn't have the thoughts, you'd probably just sit on the floor starting to vacantly drooling down and in front of your shirt. You thought, get off the floor, the instruction, or command that tells your body to stand up. In the same way, computer programs tell computers what to do. If you know how to write computer programs, you can do all sorts of useful things. Sure, you may not be able to write programs to control cars, traffic lights, and fridges, well, at least not at first, but you could create web pages, write own games, or even make a program to help with your homework. Isn't it awesome? Like humans, computers use multiple languages to communicate. In this case, it is the programming languages. Well, a programming language is simply a particular way to talk to a computer, a way to use instructions that both humans and computer can understand. There are programming languages named after people like ADA and Pascal, those named using simple acronyms like BASIC and FORTRAN and even few named after TV shows like Python. Yes, Python programming language was named after Monty Python's Flying Circus TV show, not after the Python the snake. Well, it was created by Guido von Rossum. He's an awesome person, obviously. Well, a number of things about the Python programming language make it extremely useful for beginners. Most importantly, you can use Python to write simple, efficient programs really quickly. Python doesn't have a lot of complicated symbols like braces, hashes, and dollar signs, which make other programming languages a lot more difficult to read and therefore a lot less friendly to beginners. A lot of awesome applications and websites and other things have been developed with the help of Python, like YouTube, Dropbox, Google. Cora, Instagram, BitTorrent, Spotify, Reddit, Tollspy, Pinrest, Bitbucket, Blender 3D. Okay, let's face it. Learning a programming language doesn't sound as exciting as a breakdance competition on an aircraft carrier. <clears throat> Luckily, Python was designed with a newcomer in mind. Python reads like a kindergarten map and is very easy. The use of white space and common expressions has eliminated the need of tedious variable declarations and unattractive curly brackets. Python code is often 3 to 5 times shorter than Java and 5 to 10 times shorter than C. Python can be your stepping stone into the programming universe. Employers are looking for fully stacked programmers and Python will help you to get there. Python is an object-oriented language just like JavaScript, C++, C Sharp, Perl, Ruby, and other key programming languages. For people planning to become software developers, learning this type of programming in one area will help you adapt easily in other environments as well. 
Companies such as Google, Yahoo, Disney, Nokia, and IBM all use Python. In fact, among programming languages, Python had the largest year-on-year -year job demand growth at 19% as of March 2013. Notably, the overall hiring demand for IT professionals dripped year-over-year by 5% of the January 2014, except for Python programmers which increased by 8.7%. In Europe, Python developers ranked number 8 of the most in-demand tech workers making an average of 106 grand per year. Web development is still a booming economic prospect for programmers. With Python's vast capabilities, you too can have a piece of this action. Django, the popular open source web application framework written in Python, is a foundation of such sites like Pinrest, The New York Times, The Guardian, Bitbucket, and Instagram. Django is a complete framework that takes the complexity out of web development while still giving you control over as much as you want. As an open source framework, all the information you need to get started can be found at djangoproject.com. So here we are getting started with the programming world and I'm welcoming you to the world of coding. Stay tuned to our channel and follow the instructions, trust me. It's really easy. You just need to try. Happy coding. Peace.